So I know it's been a long time since I've uploaded a video, but life just happens, you know. Uh, and today is a very great day for me because I finally have a decent microphone. Well, technically I set up my Android phone to be a microphone. So is it really a real mic? I'm not too sure, but the sound quality to me is pretty decent. And you guys can let me know in the comments what you think of it because I know for a long time audio issues have been plaguing me. Uh, but I found a way to set up my phone through uh, USB or Wi-Fi um, as a microphone. And right now I'm currently using it through USB, of course, because I don't know. For me, I think I don't like... You know, some people are in love with Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, all that, and it's great and stuff, but nothing ever really beats a hardwired connection. You know, it's like um, some people are obsessed with, like, streaming games and stuff, and, like, to me, it's, you know, it's it's going to take a long time before you can actually really uh, synchronize that. I mean, I haven't really used any streaming services for like gaming and stuff just in my mind just seeing like the you know the bandwidth required it's just like whoa that's insane and it's just you got to get to the point in life where you kind of see that hardwire just is the better option sometimes you know um i mean i've worked with like massive network switches where like a huge amount of data is like passing through it and it's insane the setup that you need to have um that that's beyond the scope of this video but anyway yeah so i just of course i set it up through usb that's the end of that and it's been pretty great um but we recently also before i get on to the video uh just hit 500 subs and again um like i always say i am eternally grateful because i've met so many great people online and um you know you can't you can't build a, a little following like i have without um continued support and everybody's been so great um so yeah, again, I just really grateful for uh, the community that I have here. My subs are amazing. Uh, but yeah, thanks again. So on to the topic of this video. Uh, it's going to be a really quick, easy one, uh, just to explain how to do uh, an alias in the terminal. So what is an alias? It's just a custom command that you can build yourself. So I'll explain it right now. Let's say we take ls, right? It's a very easy command. Uh, it just lists everything in the current working directory, right? And if we just clear this, we do ls. And let's say we want to list everything. We do a dash a here, right? And so now we get a list of everything. Let's say you're always working in your terminal and you're constantly using this command and you're dealing with many files, right? and you actually need scroll back right now i guess this won't be that useful for you if you are using a full uh terminal a full bloated terminal um, but for me personally this is useful because um i don't have scroll back right so it's like there's no buffer everything that you see it's just printed on the screen and at first i was really missing having you know like a gnome terminal or xfc whatever because it had scroll back but then the more i used uh st and the more work i started doing the terminal the more i realized that i did not need scroll back because uh you know you're constantly working and usually usually there's a log file of whatever it is that you're doing you can always look at the log file the buffer is kind of useless right it's like even right now, do I really need my buffer? Not really, you know? So um, anyway, so this command might not be that useful for you, but the idea will be the same when you create your own uh, separate custom command, right? Uh, so anyway, let's say we want to then pipe that into less. Let's say you have a huge list and you now want to um, pipe this uh, list into less so that you can scroll back and forth, right? Let's do an ls. Um, a and then pipe and then we're going to do into less and now we have our list here and we can scroll all the way back and forth right now if you're always working in the terminal most likely you want to simplify things right um programmers usually want to write the least amount of code right that's why people love python because it's so like easy and straightforward to use right um but you want to simplify everything right you want to make it as concise as you possibly can so 
we can simplify our commands by going into bash rc, right? And uh, if we're here, we can type alias, right, to set up our alias command. Uh, I usually just keep it at the top, uh, and I even have this little comment indicating that this is an alias. But anyway, uh, so I've created a three here, and this is my everyday one because I haven't uh, been working much on this computer. I haven't really uh, created any aliases, uh, but just for the purposes of this video, I've created these two here. But this is my everyday one here, which is just yay. And this, um, so yay wraps around Pac-Man, right? Then uh, when you run yay, what it does is it will update it will tell Pac-Man update, right? So it'll update everything in the uh, Pac-Man official repos. Then after that, it'll go into the yay uh, list, the file list that you have of installed programs. And then it will update all of your AUR packages, which is, I guess, the safer approach. But then again, they don't really recommend. Uh, well, not, it's not recommended, but there's always the risk of breaking your system. But that's beyond the scope of this video. Uh, and then I chain with and, and I do again yay, but this time I tell it to clear the package cache. So I clear everything out. This is how I update my system. And this one I use every day, and these two here I just created for this video. So we type alias, we give it um, the name. So to list everything in the directory, I just say la. Then I say equals, then uh, apostrophe, then in here, we start writing the command. So it was ls, then space, then the parameter uh, a, and then close uh, the apostrophe, right? And then for the piping, I created a second one, and I do alias, then lal for the name, so uh, list all, and then l for uh, less, so that I know it's being piped into less. And then we, again, do equals, apostrophe ls uh, dash a pipe less uh, close apostrophe right and this is the structure for creating your alias commands here so let's uncomment these and let's uh, close out your bash rc here so like just restart the terminal of course because uh, bash now needs to uh, refresh itself it needs to reload uh, your bash configuration so anyway, now that we're back here, we can do L, uh, not ls, la, and then we'll see that it recognized that command and it translated it into the internal, the actual command, right? So if we do lal, we'll also get our uh, other command that pipes into less here, which is really cool and really neat. So again, if you're uh, always working in the terminal, I think that this will be very, very useful for you. Uh, for me personally, I haven't really been doing much work on here, so um, for me, I haven't set up many, but if I were back working again, I definitely would. So I think that wraps it up for this video here. If you appreciate the content, you like Rin, if you like that I finally have decent audio, give a like and a sub because the fat, fluffy red hamster really appreciate it. And I hope that you found this useful.